All right, so everything that we had just done by hand can be done on a calculator really fast. So all of this stuff, we can put into the calculator. We actually just put in the original matrix, and then we could get something equivalent to this last one. What you just have to realize is that a um, reduced echelon form, which is that triangular form right here at the end, is not unique. There are multiple equivalent systems for a given system of equations. It's just that if we were to continue the process, we would get something that gives us the same answer. So in order to get to this reduced echelon form, which, which is what REF means on the calculator, it's under the matrix menu, and then you want to scroll over to math and choose A for the REF and then it would put it into reduce echelon form. But really, you wouldn't want to do that. You'd want to go down here to B and put it in row reduce echelon form. So let's see what that's all about. Okay, so here, here's what we basically just did. We took a system of equations and put it into, um, put it into matrix form, an augmented matrix. And we did elementary row operations to make it look like this. I have a diagonal. The main diagonal is composed of ones. And these little funky looking symbols are just some other number of numbers. In order to get it like that, we eliminate each of these. Whoops, we don't eliminate that one. We want to keep that in that order. If we were to keep going on that same one, we can put it into row reduce echelon form. So to put it in reduce echelon form or triangular form, you eliminate the x element in all but the first equation, eliminate the y element in the last row. To keep going, to put it into row reduce echelon form, where our final result, result will give us the answer, you want to eliminate the z element in all but the last equation, and then finally eliminate the y element in the first row. So this is how this goes. We're going to pick up where we left off on this matrix. And then we're going to keep going on it. So the next things that I want to get rid of are these twos, starting with that one. So to get rid of that two, we're going to, we'll have to multiply this bottom one by negative two and add it to that one. I can't use the top equation because if I add any kind of multiple of the top equation to the second one, I reintroduce my x. So I want to do negative two r3 and add that into R2. And that's gonna replace the, the original R2. So let's go ahead and multiply those two numbers together. A row one stays the same, row three stays the same. It's just that for my new row two, I'm gonna have uh, zero plus zero is that zero. One plus zero is one. Two plus the negative two is that zero. And then five minus six is that negative one. Okay, this one is next. To get rid of that, I can't use the bottom, uh, the middle equation. I have to use the bottom. And again, it's a coefficient of 2. This 1 needs to be a negative 2, so I can do essentially the same row operations. It's just negative uh, 2 r3 and add it to r1. So since I already have them multiplied, I can use this, this one here as a basis. So... 1 plus a 0 gives me my 1, negative 2 plus 0 gives me negative 2, and then the 2 minus the 2 is 0, 9 plus a negative 6 is that 3. Last thing I want to get rid of is this negative 2. To get rid of that negative 2, I have to use the equation that's right down below it, the one that has the y in it. So I need it to have a coefficient of 2, so it's going to be 2 r2 plus a r1. So go ahead and multiply everything by 2, and then add up our equations. The 1 plus 0 gives me 1, negative 2 plus 2 gives me 0, 0, 0 is 0, and 3 minus 2 gives me my 1. And when I'm done with this, stuff over there on the right-hand side is my actual answer. In other words, it's 1, negative 1, 3.